Hey everybody, it's Kelly and Sophie Doyle. So this is a very quick video, an impromptu video to say happy spring. I think it's the first day of spring. I'm on the ocean right now and there's a drumming circle, an awesome drumming circle going on and it reminded me, I think today is the first day of spring. I don't know if you can see the ocean, let's see. No, you can't see it. But this, my friends, is what I think is keeping the uh, flirts at bay for me here in Los Angeles. Is my day spots are on the ocean. And I found a hiking trail for Sophie in a woods type area. But mostly it's the ocean. And I realized every time I'm at the ocean, I rarely have long flare ups. So back to um, spring. So just a quick reminder. Let go of the old to make room for the new. I know it's still some harsh weather in some areas, so it's hard to imagine it's springtime. But you can still clear out the old to make room for the new. Clear out what is not working for you to make room for things that can. Uh, it could be people. It could be things. It could be relationships. Uh, it could be mindsets, it could be habits, uh, it could be a job, it could be a location. Those are harder to let go of. It could be anything. Because spring is a time for renewal. So uh, that's our message for today. Let's all together. Uh, there are studies about group think, how it's supposedly like a prayer and it actually is more powerful than single thoughts and one person. So me and all of my viewers, we could do this all together. And uh, change in life to me is incremental. It's not a leap. It can be, but it's, it can be also it's steps, it's baby steps. So let's just this spring, let's all take one little baby step forward, larger steps if we're able. And when it comes to things, you know, they say, you know, if there's some things, you wanna clear out stuff in your place, they talk about holding the object in your hand or whatever, and asking yourself, does this object, does this thing bring me joy or, you know, use? And if not, you set the attention to mentally let it go, and you let it go. So happy spring, everybody. Happy clearing. Happy cleansing. Someone did ask me, how? what do you mean cleansing? How do you do it? I don't know. It may be beyond the scope of this video. But you basically sent the attention that the universe is clearing out what doesn't belong out of your 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 energy field to make room for the things that will you know things um that will improve your life get you back on the track on the path that you're supposed to be on so setting an intention is just a quick you don't have to do a long kumbaya lotus position meditation it's a quick it could be two or three minutes you ground into mother earth and then you amplify your life force and then you imagine a shielding all around and you just in, make the intention. You just set the intention. I don't know how else to explain it. <clears throat> okay, universe or higher power or higher self or God or Buddha or whoever. I'm ready. I'm ready to let go. And then you just let the images come to you what needs to let go. You don't have to go, mm, what is it? What do I need to change? Oh, kumbaya. And they say in quiet mind is when the in information comes. So maybe practice five minutes a day of quiet. Slow down your thoughts. Get grounded. And just let the answers come to you what needs to go. But most of us know. Most of us know. So I hope I post this video very quick. Let go of the old. To make room, let go of what is not working in our best interests, and and, and then in our best, if we do what's in our best interest, we can do what's in the world's best interest to become participate more in helping others. Letting go of um, 
what is no longer serving us to make room for things that will serve us better. That's it. I'm Kelly Doyle. That's Sophie Doyle. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Follow your bliss and happy spring. There's still traffic. You can't get away from the traffic, but look at that. Okay. What a cool.